Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna cover understanding 3D geometry. Quick reminder, this lesson is from our complete intro to Blender course that we're offering for free for a limited time on YouTube. If you're new here, I'd recommend starting at the beginning of the course. I've added a link in the description. All right, go ahead and open up Blender and let's jump right in. In this lesson, let's take a look at the elements of geometry that we see here in 3D. But first, no matter how your cube ended up in the previous lesson when you were practicing your navigation, to make sure that we're all on the same page, let's start a new file. So go up to your file menu, pick the option for new, hover over new, and then you'll see a flyout and go ahead and click general. If it asks if you wanna save the file that you're working in, there's no need to save that file. And in this new file, you'll get back to the view that you had when you first opened Blender. Now, as I said before, no matter what you plan to do later in Blender, you should know the basics of how to create, edit, or work with 3D models. Hey everyone, we're doing something a little unconventional here. And for a limited time, we're giving you access to one of our paid courses for free right here on YouTube. And this lesson is a part of it. Blender is a beast of a program to learn, but with the right approach, it doesn't have to be. That's why we created Blender Academy, to help people build the Blender skills they need and then go out and get the jobs they want. We hope you find these lessons to be a good investment of your time. If you do, and you're serious about learning Blender, head over to our website and continue learning with us. Thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe, and now, back to the lesson. If you're new to 3D models, it's helpful to define what 3D models are made of. So while it's not totally easy to see here, I'm gonna roll my mouse wheel forward just a little bit so that this cube is a bit bigger on the screen. And let's talk about the three main things that we're seeing here. Now, we can't see a vertex, but a vertex is a point. So this corner here, there's a vertex here that we can't see. Now, each of these vertexes collectively would be known as vertices. So at every corner here, there's gonna be a vertex. All of them together would be known as plural, a vertex, vertices. Now, between two vertices, so let's say this corner here, in this corner here, there can be an edge. So we have an edge that is defined by the two vertices at the end. And whenever you have a closed loop of coplanar edges, so for example here, we have four edges that are all on the same plane, and they're a closed loop, meaning the edges extend from vertex to vertex to vertex, it can be filled in with a face. So that's what we see here. This rectangle here is a face. And a set of connected faces, so we have a face here, a face here, a face here, and we have some faces on the other sides we can't see. A set of connected faces are what's known as a mesh. So I said there were three things. The three things are vertices, edges, and faces. That's what makes up the geometry. And then the geometry collectively is a fourth name, which is a mesh. So all of this geometry, it's helpful to know these names because as we go along, we're going to see things about vertices, edges, faces, and meshes. So this cube is one mesh made up of eight vertices, if you count them all up around every side, 12 edges, and six faces. Now, when it comes to creating, editing, or working with 3D models in Blender, what we're really talking about is either creating these vertices, edges, faces, and meshes, deleting them, or editing them in a way where we're transforming either their rotation, their size, their shape. So with that basic information out of the way, we're ready to move on to the next lesson where we can talk about adding and deleting whole meshes. Congratulations, you made it through the lesson. Did you find this video to be helpful? Let us know by giving it a like. If you're ready for the next lesson, you can find it in this playlist. And if you're interested in learning more about how we can help you build the skills you need, head over to blenderacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, happy blending.